My name is Madeline McGrath, and my work uh, begins with objects in my environment that I find engaging, interesting, that have marks um, that kind of tell a little bit of a story. I'm oftentimes using using elements from the home and or personal items. So what you're seeing here uh, are cabinet doors and uh, torn canvases, pages from a book, and a, a few other uh, little things you might just have laying around the house, such as carpet decks. Um, and this particular body of work has to do with the idea of memory and what imprints um, on our minds and vice versa. We kind of imprint our physical selves on those objects. Just to say, for instance, the uh, marks and the cabinet doors and uh, putting up of canvases or the books we collect. And I'm also thinking about how we get rid of stuff both physically in our environment, so these things are all kind of defunct, They're, they were no longer in use, but they were still laying around in our environment. Um, and also the idea of forgetting, so in our minds we collect all kinds of stuff so that we can you know who we are, what we like, for obvious reasons we have memory, but then we have to discard things also, so we have to forget so that we can function. So that's kind of the the idea behind this work is um, essentially remembering what to remember, which is what it's called, what to forget, and the process of learning and kind of evolving, um, taking things into our environment and getting rid of them. Something I've been interested in lately is the idea that people, artists, can be preoccupied with the idea of what it means to make art. And I think generally if you're an artist and you're a creative person, um, whatever the thing that you're most passionate about it is, or oftentimes can be, uh, artwork. And that a lot of times focus needs to be at the, an honest assessment of how you're actually spending your time and not what you think you should be doing. Um, so for this piece, I, uh, I work in an art gallery, and um, I found, or I saw, the remnants of a spray-painted frame, and that's kind of what the painting is. Uh, I took a, uh, the opportunity to recreate that painting, and I framed some work for a friend, and this is the recreation of the uh, spray-painted surface that the frames were. Hi, my name is Leah Schreiber, and I'm a visual artist in Milwaukee. Um, my work usually incorporates found images or materials with techniques of painting and drawing to kind of reinterpret medical images so that there's more of a connection to the physical experience of the body. And this piece here is my um, archive of research regarding rotatory testing, which is a method that medicine uses to find out if there are disorders of the vestibular system, which is the system of balance. So what you're looking at here is an archive of images from my own research. What we're looking at here is an, a piece that I did for this show that incorporated a performance. So I consider it a performative drawing. Um, it refers right back to the research that I did um, about the vestibular system and methods of testing. Because so many of those methods were about putting the patient through an experience that would make them dizzy in order to find out the health of their vestibular system. So I am interpreting that into this drawing where I walked around the column and drew a line. Um, and so the line is a record of my revolutions around the column, but it was also about my own experience of becoming dizzy trying to make this drawing. And the graphite records the height of my body, so while it's 
partly an experiential work, it's also a physical record of uh, both the action and the dimensions of my body. There's a line that reaches as high as my arm can reach, as well as the uh, floor records the movement of my body in, um, on the other plane. Uh, so both of these pieces together kind of, um, you know, one is much more about the research and one is much more about the experience, but together I think they're a good sampling of my interests in terms of, you know, finding ways to combine medical research with ideas of physical experience. So please come to my website at www.leahshriver.com. Hi, my name is Tony Conrad. I'm a visual artist living and working in Appleton, Wisconsin. Um, so to talk a little bit about this work, it kind of stems from a move that I made from Milwaukee to northern Wisconsin, um, where I grew up. Uh, and so I'm kind of interested in playing uh, visually out in my work the kind of cultural stereotypes that exist um, between metropolitan areas where uh, people seem to believe that there's uh, more affluence of culture and um, northern or rural Wisconsin or rural America uh, where uh, things, things are just a little bit slower, uh, laid back, less space, not as exciting. Uh, and so this work is uh, something that kind of comes from that move and I'm really interested in making plays on um, things such as high culture, low culture, um, uh, you know, the outdoor ruggedness of uh, outdoorsman lifestyle and the, the soft, delicate, um, decadent kind of elements from, um, you know, the domestic world and the high culture world. And so really that's uh, what this work is about. It's just kind of bashing those two, um, those cultural perceptions together and it's kind of a melting pot of all those elements. And I think it really relates to um, how, I, how I experience culture. studio in River West, Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Um, and I just wanted to show you a little bit about my work today. Um, over here you can kind of see where my uh, work evolves from. Um, I go around Milwaukee and I recycle latex house paint um, from basically garages or basements. Um, I usually put out an email to the whole community seeing if anybody has any that I could borrow, or actually have, um, and I make my work from there. Um, so everything starts in a gallon size uh, can of paint, and from there I um, pour the gallons out onto sheets of plastic. Um, when the paint is dry, I peel up the plastic, or I peel up the paint from the plastic, uh, and I manipulate the paint from there. Um, so on the walls you can see sort of all my creations and all the different ways of treating the paint that I've come up with over the last few years. Um, you know, some things are made entirely out of only latex paint. Um, some things have some kind of prop within them, you know, such as um, plastic cups or toothpicks or there's shelves in some of them. Um, and, you know, I'm really trying to, my aim is to talk about painting in a new way. Um, I'm, you know, a painter, I consider myself a painter, um, and I'm using paint to paint. Um, but I also, you know, I'm bringing the paintings sort of off the wall, off the canvas, sort of less wall dependent. Um, and then, you know, at the same time, you know, allowing others to call me a sculptor or a painter or a performer or whatever they want, um, but I consider myself to be a painter. Um, 